Environmental Matters, a Cleaner Energy Source, an initiative of the Ministry of Planning and Development in conjunction with the National Trust of Trinidad and Tobago. Imagine a location totally powered by the rays of the sun. This is exactly what is happening on the historical site of Nelson Island. It has become self-sufficient through the introduction of a solar power supply. It is now an eco-sustainable development. Nelson Island is five miles west of Port of Spain and two miles south of Carinage. It is steeped in history. It was a resting and bartering point for the First Nation people. It was used as a defense base, a garrison, and a processing point for indentured laborers. National Trust Senior Project and Facilities Officer Kumi de Souza explains why it was necessary to put power on the island. Originally we had a diesel generator, which was the original power source. In terms of the cost for that, it was very high, so we looked at other avenues. We incorporate the solar and the diesel as to support our activities, to support what we do, but also we use it as a teaching tool to also teach sustainability with our heritage education program. National Trust Facilities technician Sean Austin tells us more about the desalination plant. The desalination system works by taking water from the sea. We have a pump on a jetty that sends it up to the unit. This project is one in a host of initiatives which highlight Trinidad and Tobago's commitment to the Paris Agreement on Climate Change and the National Strategic Development Plan. Senior Corporate Communications Officer at the Ministry of Planning and Development, Greta Joy McKenzie, explains. The Ministry of Planning and Development, which is the line ministry for the National Trusts, recognizes their contribution to Theme 5 of the National Development Strategy, Vision 2030. That is, placing the environment at the center of social and economic development. Chairman of the National Trust, Margaret McDowell, says the transformation of Nelson Island is the first phase in the creation of the Five Island National Heritage Park. She says in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, tours will be done differently. We have now about to launch what we call our family and friends tours. That is so that we can um, adhere to the new protocols so that the tours will be smaller. The transformation of Nelson Island will have great benefits for the environment, the tourism sector, and by extension, the citizenry. The aim is to preserve our national heritage. This was a production of the Office of the Prime Minister, Communications.